as I mentioned previously that our problem was this boilerplate code. So boilerplate code in repository that was the problem and we are putting a lot of code. Imagine this is the one entity only we have right now but it could be hundreds and hundreds of an entity in actual project and every time you add any entity you need to add this function uh, whose fu um, function for only one purpose for CRUD operation and most of the code gonna be same you just need to write again and again right so that was the problem that JPA was focusing so uh, for JPA it is very easy and in case of JPA we don't need this code at all so let me delete this right and instead I can use interface instead of class so and this interface will implement extend CRUD repository so if you see this spring data framework it is coming from data repository if I do this it will ask me two characters uh, two attributes here and first one is employee because we need to specify this CRUD repository is for which entity and second is an ID of that employee ID of that entity class so uh, in our case it is integer but it could be long it could be string it could be anything so we just need to do this now if you see it is showing me error here in my service because this find all add employee this function doesn't exist anymore right so now let me delete this and if I do dot I can see other uh, options with other functions so I have this find all but it is uh, returning uh, iterable object instead of list object so let me do typecast here but this find all I don't have in in my uh, repository here if you see I, do, I have no no any functions right so this all function is coming from this crud repository and which is already implemented with uh, JPA you don't need to worry about the implementation of it you just need to use it here right so this is uh, first function is ready second is adding it so instead of add employee we have save employee uh, save entity which is also coming from uh, our crud and it is no it, it will return an object so it won't return a boolean so I'm gonna do not null and we are good same function we can uh, use here and the structure gonna be same and uh, in case of delete if I go here and do dot I don't I have multiple delete options so we have four options we have delete I can pass whole object and it will delete it then I have delete all which will delete everything it will clear entire database then I have delete by ID so I'm going to use this delete by ID and but this delete by ID is a void function it is not returning anything if you open this uh, description of this this delete function won't return anything so but uh, it will throw an error in case of anything goes wrong so I can use that error like this I can use try and error function I can catch this error and I can put this decision inside this try block and the negative decisions set catch block and uh, we need to catch the exception so uh, it will uh, throw illegal argument exception if you want to see you can put cursor here it will show you description if you see here it throws illegal argument exception and I can use that illegal argument exceptions like this so we are good restart the function and let me go to my postman first so uh, if let me ref uh, here refreshing login again and uh, if you see we have 10 uh, employees and uh, in so we have this 10 employees and uh, it is coming from that uh, database and for that we didn't write we didn't write any function in our repository class so that's how you can do this you can use this CRUD repository so uh, now our next problem is let's say you want uh, pagination so if you remember in our applications nowadays let's say you have millions and millions of records in your uh, in your directory right and uh, if you want to pull that up you uh, with this application with this API it will give you everything let's say you have uh, 1000 record or 2000 records it will give you everything which which can cause a problem but you want a pagination so nowadays in in our applications if you see in Google or anywhere you see page the number of pages uh, at the bottom and you can select particular page and go directly there right 
let's say you want to implement something like that in here so uh, let me go ahead and create one uh, function for the one api for that and uh, that api is something like so let me copy this get function only and at the last let me put it here this get function will return some pages and uh, instead of get all let me change the name to get and uh, here also i do get so let me create that get function and but um, if you see here in our uh, repository we don't have any options with uh, pagination and something like that so we cannot uh, implement that at the database side we can do one thing you we can uh, pull all the thousand two thousand records in java layer and java layer will filter uh, based on our request and rest of the thing it will but that one is not a uh, good approach so what we can do is instead of crud repository we can use a jpa repository here in our repository so jpa repository have extension of uh, uh, we call it paging and sorting repository so with crud you can use paging and sorting or you can use jpa which is a combination of uh, that two and one more so let me import this and here now if i go in my service class here i can see find all sort right and i have another find all this pageable let me use this pageable and now i need to pass the object of this pageable information right let me create this pageable page and page request of of now i need to give a uh, size of the page so page uh, i can go like first page the number of page start from zero and the size size is the number of element per page so i let's say i want to put three three uh, three uh, employees per page if i do this now i need to pass that page here okay but if you see it is giving error because this pageable uh, find all function will return me a uh, page uh, list of it will return me the object of page it won't be the uh, object of list so thing is let me create something like this uh, object of, of page and i put this here and so this page object will have uh, extra information with the content of the so this information will be such as uh, how many elements are there how many pages are there and stuff like that so uh, let's say uh, let me write it uh, very simple so this page will have uh, other information also that's why it is giving so i can do page dot get contain and it will show me that uh, thing but let me restart this okay so let me go to my postman and here let me copy this new and we are using this page api so if you see here it is showing only three employees but what about the others i uh, this page size is three that is perfectly fine but what i want to what if i want to change the page number so this page number is a uh, i put zero which is not good idea because i hard coded it so i can do one thing i can uh, provide dynamically those page numbers from our api and uh, i can use something like this this instead of uh, i can use a request parameter request parameter and i give the name of uh, that as value equal to page number and i assign that value same way let's say i want to change the uh, size of the page so currently i put hard code the number 3 but instead of 3 i want to add more so i can do uh, same thing request and 
right but uh, let's say i want to make this api more dynamic so i can give a default value here as uh, something like this first let me put require equal to false so if you don't specify it will take a default value so default value will be something like this so let me put this let me put this default value default value equal to uh, 0 and uh, same way for this one default value for page size will be 4 let's say and let's pass this application uh, this values here page number then page size let me edit this function here This is, uh, if I don't specify anything, it will take by default. It will, it is showing me the first page, zeroth page, and the size of it is four. So I'm going here in parameter and I can do page number equal to, I want to see two. And page size I want is four. Or I can put three. If I do this, I'm seeing, see, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, but uh, let's say if you are building an uh, UI application, then you need to know how many pages are there. Otherwise, uh, how you will go next, 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 and at the end, you will uh, be out of the error, right? Like this, so you will see something like this. You don't have anything, but at some point, UI guys need to know that uh, you don't have any more information. So I need to change this API a little bit. And uh, let's say instead of uh, employee, I want uh, I will return map of string and object and so I can add a couple of values here uh, in response response is the map of the object and I'm doing uh, let's say uh, I want to know how many elements are there uh, total number of elements so I can do something like this. If I do dot, I can, I have so many other functions and I'm, I'm getting this get total elements. Then let me copy this. And another thing I want is a current page number, right? So I can do something like this. I have get number right it is showing return the number of the current slice so the slice number current slice number and how many total pages I have so I have one function get total pages and then last let me put So data is our uh, list of employees and for that I can put simply get content. Okay. Now if I go in my control, it is showing me error because here we said it will be come, it will come as a list of the employee, but now it is coming as the mem of string and object. So, uh, let me restart this application and if I go here in my browser I refresh this now you see I have page number total page I have four and uh, for this page I don't have any data current page is six I, I have total page four but I am at the sixth page so I don't have any data let me change this so if I do two I can see data like this so uh, it is showing current page number it is showing the how many elements we have it is showing total page so that's how you I know that uh, we have total number of four pages we are at the number two so one more to go and in total number we have ten uh, uh, elements so uh, here we have nine elements 
and uh, here you can add one more uh, feature if you want to add which is called uh, sort by this page of uh, function if I do this I, I have this one more option short and uh, in here you can add one more thing uh, so let's add that one so first let me go ahead and uh, So uh, by default, if you don't provide anything, it will short the uh, result by ID it will be string short by and pass this string here. Let me go to service the here string short by and here I can pass short by and I can put this short by. So if I stop this, restart this, once I restart this service in my browser, uh, if you see here we have uh, page size 3, we are at the second page and total number of 4. So let me increase this page size 3 to 5 and I want short by uh, first name. So I can do something like this so um, for second number page I don't have anything let me put zero and if you see here this is coming first name with Amanda A then Arthur then B then Bruce and like that so it is coming as first name if I put uh, last name or joining date I can do stuff like that if I doesn't if I don't mention if I don't mention this it will come with ID okay so this one two three four five like this so this is how we can create API with JPA uh, repository using pagination shorting and uh, our CRUD repository